Hi everyone, it's Brit Matt here, and in this video, for a change, from LEGO City anyway, and the vintage sets, we're going to be looking at a LEGO Friends set. This one is called the Creative Tuning Shop, and it is set number 41351, and comes with 413 pieces. And... It retails for $39.99 here in the UK. I actually paid, I believe, it was about £25 for my local Sainsbury's because I've got it uh, reduced at the minute. And I wanted something different to build. And I hadn't bought a friend set for a while and I saw this on offer so I grabbed this. Anyway. I'm not supposed to be buying sets this close to uh, Christmas, <laughs> so don't tell my family. <laughs> anyway, it does come with uh, quite a number of accessories and whatnot. Two figures, Emma and Dean. Um, there is a car lift, which is what this is. Which I'll put over here for a moment. This thing... I'll show you what this does. There's a close up of it. I'll show you what this does uh, later in the video. The two go karts, the tool chest, which I'll put over here as well, and all of these um, swappable parts for the go karts. So, actually, I might as well show you this while I've got it in my hand. These are all the um, various swappable parts, you know, there's bumpers and uh, I think, I'm not sure if that's meant to be a front piece or to go on the rear, a couple of um, side pieces as well, oh there's a spare nose piece right up here, so um, the go-karts themselves are um, customizable, um, it uses so many of the common basic little parts that uh, you could build a more of these buggies or go-karts. I keep calling them buggies for some reason. Or you can just customise the two you've got with some of your own um, ideas. But anyway, we'll get into that a bit more in a moment. Here's Emma, just your usual friends figurine, with a little bow in her hair. And I'm going to stand her over the back. And here's Dean. I like the fact how they name their characters as well with the Legos, Lego Friends set. I have seen Lego do that with Lego City stuff, but only on the magazines. I've not seen them name any of the figures that come with the um, usual Lego City sets. And we've got a couple of helmets. That's just your bog standard red Lego helmet there. We've got whatever this is supposed to be. I haven't figured it out yet. Fire extinguisher, maybe, because that fires that light blue transparent stud. Whee! Don't worry, I haven't lost it. I do know where it is, but other than that, I'm not sure what that is meant to be. We do have a little kitty cat with a hole in its head so you can put a bow or something on the head as well if you wanted. And We've got Emma's helmet here as well, with a little sort of ponytail moulded into it. Uh, I've shown you that. Tool chest, we'll do next. They've actually used the um, modified hinge plate for the um, 1x2 hinge brick, you know. Um, as the caster wheels, you can see the bit they've used. And on top, we've got an adjustable wrench on there, and we've got the uh, socket wrench on there as well, along with an oil can. The drawers have got tools in as well. And we've got a open wrench and a screwdriver in there, and up here in the next drawer, we've got a hammer and another type of wrench. And that hammer looks to um, jam the drawer up. There we go. So that's our little tool chest. 
Uh, let's have a look at these um, go-karts. I nearly said buggy again. Nearly said it. So here's Dean's. I'm being a bit assumptuous here. I'm assuming this is Dean's from the colour. Well, I can't see him driving the other one, can you? <laughs> so, anyway. I would. That wouldn't bother me. Anyway, here's Dean's um, little go-kart. It's based on those little one-piece chassis that have been around for a long time. Probably since the 1980s. And I've got loads of these little chassis. Um, I've got a number of these wheels with different colour hubs as well. But everything, you can take all this off and uh, make your own colour bumpers up and nose pieces and whatnot, little rear engine pieces if you want, or put a, a fin on the back here if you wanted to. You can make up your own side pieces. He's got two exhausts on his. Big handlebars, you could put smaller ones on if you wanted to. You could, so much you could do with these go-karts. Here's Emma's, with a nice little flag on one side and a little lamp on the other. And again, it's built on the same chassis. And uh, everything again is uh, interchangeable. Like I said, there's a bunch of stuff over there on that. So, where is it? One by 16 beam or something like that. No, it's not. Is it a 16? Yeah, it is a 16 wide beam. That's what all those parts are for, so you just swap them around on these go karts. Or just leave them as they are. So, before I get onto the main building, I'm going to bring this in. You reverse your car up to it, it actually fits into that gap quite nicely, and then you just do that. It's like a little car launcher. So, if you built another one of these, you and a friend, you know, you could have races, you could have little drag races. You could um, get some um, 30, 32 by 32 road plates and uh, make a little drag strip up and, you know, you set up a couple of these. I'm not going to do it too hard because I don't want to lose the go-kart. And uh, have little races. Build your own custom go-karts and have little races. Build a number of these up and you could... Um, have races with a lot of friends and build up a bunch of these as well. If you had two rows of the road plates side by side you could have at least four of these. Or I suppose if you had a nice smooth floor like a tiled floor or a, something like kitchen floor something like that which is hard but smooth you could all line up on there and have races on there. It's um, quite a versatile kit Which is one of the key features I'm really liking about this. I'm not sure. I know I haven't finished looking at everything in this, but I'm not sure it's actually worth the uh, full price tag. But here's the building itself. There's the front view. It's actually quite nice. We've got a couple of spotlights up here. We've got this um, nice spray can and spanner sign up here, except. That is a bit, you know, it will stay that way up, which is how it's meant to be, but as soon as you move this or whatever, you know, it does that, so. That's my only beef with this, I think. I think that needed to be on something which wasn't as loose. <laughs> um, I'm sure there's another way to fit it up there, but anyway. We've got a little open side there. And a little sort of showroom here. We've got the uh, trophy down here. A little turntable there for you to put your go-kart on. Um, there's a little door on the end here and a nice little flag up the top. And the um, design room. I presume that's what that's meant to be because if I turn it around... And I will actually take this piece out to show you better. You've got this sort of board here with... Um, a drawing plan on it as well as the computer screen here with some plans on it as well and a couple of stools 
some snacks. There is a banana up here. It's, it's um, falling out of where it's meant to be. The coffee cup, a cookie. There's the turntable. These, I guess you could, whatever your imagination want them to be, they could be um, paint cans, spray cans, or um, perhaps that could be a bottle of polish to clean the go-kart with. Or a lubricant, or you know, it could be anything, whatever you want it to be. I've got two more tools here as well. Just gonna zoom you in a smidge. There we go. We've got this molly tool here, and then we've got a cordless drill underneath. That's better. Ah, even better. Um, and then we've got this, which I'm can I guess that you probably thought the same thing I did when looking at this from the front? That it's just a solid decorative wall. It isn't, because if I turn this yellow thing here, look at that. <laughs> it's got one of these, um, not worm gears, the uh, pinion piece that the gear wheels go in. It's got a row of those on there, a gear wheel under here, and then another one there which is just acting as a guide. And uh, you can actually open and close it like a door. It's a sliding door. I actually like that. The um, computer monitor will rotate as well, although it's only on one of those um, 2 by 2 tiles with a stud in the centre. So it's... It will probably fall off if you try to move it, but it will... It's positionable, at least. And like I said, this is like a little podium, I suppose, for um, putting on your little go-karts for display. As this is technically a tuning shop. So, uh, you know, you're going to want to display what you can do. So, um, yeah, all in all, it is a nice little set. Um very versatile I mean they've based the cars on something um, which would be easy to replicate out of uh, any loose Lego that you might have I mean I think these bases are pretty common you can get them on eBay if you haven't got them you know you find them everywhere these uh, chassis pieces like I said I've got a large number of them spare in various colours as well. Oh, now I've got some yellow, I've got some red. But I do believe most of them are actually black. It's like the most common colour was black. But uh, I think I'm going to have a go at some point of mocking some of these myself. Because um, I do have quite a selection of parts, so see what I can come up with. I may not use these handlebars but we'll see um, ooh, I haven't actually shown the lift properly have I it's just a little gear wheel on the end here and you just rotate it and lift it up there is a stud there and you just roll the car back and it will sit perfectly on there like that so the stud will hold it in place and then, just like a real mechanic, you've got a uh, lift to uh, help you work on your cars. And that just comes down like that. Meow. So. It still feels quite small to me when I look at it. Um, even though it's supposed to have, what was it, 400 and something pieces? I've got a Nemo in the way. <laughs> Trying to do this with a Nemo up here is not easy. Uh, 413 pieces. I'm still not sure about the price to be honest. I mean for the price there is a lot of playability and a lot of... Um... Oh I've forgotten the word. I was totally gone. I know I said it earlier in the video as well. <laughs> but 
versatility, that's the word, you know, because you can make your own cars, you can customise the ones you've got, there's um, a lot of playability within the building itself, with the car launcher there, and the lift, and the opening door, and there is a lot to do with it, but it just feels so small for the price, you know. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure about the price. Uh, there was a niggle, a little niggle I had with this, but I can't remember what it was. That was it. The spray can, the way that's made, because it's up here so loosely. But, um, really, apart from being unsure about the its um, retail price, and the can, I barely touched that can and it dropped. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't think there's anything else that I've really got any issues with. It's still a nice set. Now, I guess it would be worth it, you know, just for the playability of this set. It is um, nicely designed, strong, so much you can do with it. I mean, when I looked at the box art, I didn't realise it actually had this with it to launch the go-karts. And in fact, at first glance on the box art, I only thought um, that you got only this car with it. I didn't spot at first that the second one came with it as well. So, I think the box art could have been a bit better. It's not that impressive. I don't know. What do you guys think? Um, let me show you it. That's what the box looks like. I mean, until you study it and you see the other car in the back there, to me, it says you only get the one with it. No, is it just me interpreting the art wrong? Could be. Then again, I didn't actually look at the back either. But, um, it does show you different methods to do things on here, you see, and how you can swap the parts around and make new carts and whatnot. Oh, I see, that little gun thing. It's meant to be for one of the cars. I see. I'm definitely going to try and make another one of these. So, when one of my friends come over, we can have a mess around with this. And just act like big kids, because I like acting like a big kid with Lego. <laughs> anyway, I think that wraps up this review. It's been quite a long one, this one, hasn't it? So, um... As always, let me know what you think in the uh, comments below. And uh, I guess I'll speak to you all in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye. He had to do it just before I shut the camera off, didn't he? <laughs> he loves being on camera just as much as I do. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I will talk to you all again soon. Bye.